unto you. Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Have you here any meat? These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. That all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. 
But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Peace be unto you. As my father hath sent me, even so send I you. my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times I say not unto thee until seven times but until seventy times seven therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. And the servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So, when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt because thou desirest me. Shouldst not thou have also had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do unto you. If ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother that trespasses,
I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Let us go into Judea again. Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may wake him out of sleep. Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, to the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Take ye away the stone. Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldst believe, thou shouldst see the glory of God. Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God. I thank you, Father. Because you have heard me, I know that you always hear me. But I have said this for all the people here, so, so they will believe that you sent me. Lazarus! Thank thee that thou hast. 
has heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it. That they may believe that thou hast sent me. I thank you, Father, that you listen to me. I know that you always listen to me. But I say this for the sake of the people here. So that they will believe that you sent me. Loose him. And let him go. what I'm saying to you. Prayer is the key that unlocks the resources of heaven so that they can be unleashed on planet earth. Prayer is the key he's actually given you to get all the good stuff down here. Prayer accesses the bits of heaven he intends to give you now. But when my people who are called by my name, when they will humble themselves and when they'll pray, he says that I'm going to hear from heaven. I'm going to heal the land. The enemy will have to bend the knee at the name of Jesus in prayer.
Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his soul? A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. If any of you wants to be my follower, you must turn from your selfish ways, take up your cross and follow me. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and everyone who humbles himself will be exalted. And know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. When you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. So, in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, you will save it. Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life.
Μη φοβάστε εσείς, μικρό πίμνιο, διότι ο πατέρας σας με ευχαρίστηση σας δίνει τη βασιλεία του. Πουλήστε τα αγαθά σας και δώστε τα χρήματα στους φτωχού. Αποκτήστε έτσι πουγκιά που δεν παλιώνουν και θησαυρούς ανεξάντλητους στους ουρανούς. Εκεί κλέπτης δεν τα πλησιάζει, ούτε σκόρος τα καταστρέφει. Όπου είναι ο θησαυρό σα είναι και η καρδιά σας. Γυναίκα, είσαι ελεύθερη από την αρρώστια σου. Τότε ποιος μπορεί να σωθεί. Ό,τι είναι αδύνατο για τον άνθρωπο είναι δυνατό για τον Θεό. Και πού ακριβώς θα είναι η Βασιλεία του Θεού. Η Βασιλεία του Θεού δεν μπορεί να φανεί. Κανείς δεν θα πει, να, εδώ είναι ή ακόμα εκεί είναι. Η Βασιλεία του Θεού είναι ήδη ανάμεσά σας. Θα έρθει καιρό που θα επιθυμήσετε να δείτε έστω και μια μέρα του Ιού του ανθρώπου, αλλά δεν θα τη δείτε. Όπως η αστραπή λάμπει από τη μια μεριά του ουρανού ως την άλλη, έτσι θα είναι ο Υιός του ανθρώπου στη δική του μέρα. Πρώτα όμως πρέπει να υποφέρει πολύ και να περιφρονηθεί από τους ανθρώπους. Πιο εύκολο είναι να καταστραφούν ο ουρανός και η γη, παρά να μην εκπληρωθεί ο νόμος του Θεού. Πολλοί προφήτες και βασιλιάδες θέλησαν να δουν όσα βλέπετε, μα δεν τα άδαν. Να ακούσουν όσα ακούτε και δεν τα άκουσαν. Αλλήμονος εσάς που τώρα γελάτε, γιατί θα θρηνήσετε. Αλλά εγώ λέω σε εσάς που μ' ακούτε, αγαπάτε τους εχθρούς σας. Ευεργετείτε όσους σας μισούν και όσους σας καταριούνται. Προσεύχεστε για τους εχθρούς σας. Αν κάποιος σε χτυπήσει στο ένα μάγουλο, γύρνα του και το άλλο. Αν κάποιος σου πάρει το πανοφόρι, δώσ' του και το πουκάμισο. Σ' όποιον σου ζητάει, δώσε. Κι αν σας πάρουν τα πράγματά σας, μην τα ζητήσετε πίσω. Φερθείτε στους άλλους όπως θα θέλατε να σας φερθούν. Αν αγαπάτε μονάχα αυτούς που σας αγαπούν, ποια είναι η καλοσύνη σας. Οι αμαρτωλοί το ίδιο κάνουν. Όχι. Να αγαπάτε τους εχθρούς σας. Να κάνετε το καλό. Χωρίς να περιμένετε ανταπόδοση. Και θα έχετε μεγάλη ανταμοιβή. Και θα ονομαστείτε παιδιά του Θεού. Γιατί Εκείνος ευεργετεί ακόμα και τους αχάριστους. Να έχετε έλεος. Όπως και ο Επουράνιος πατέρα σας. Σώσα μας Ιησού. Μην κρίνετε για να μην κρυθείτε. Μην καταδικάζετε για να μην καταδικαστείτε. Συγχωρείτε και θα συγχωρεθείτε. Οδήγησέ μας το δρόμο σου, Κύριε. Δώστε και εσείς τα λάβετε. Με όποιο μέτρο μετράτε, με το ίδιο θα μετρηθείτε. Μπορεί τυφλός να οδηγεί τυφλό. Δεν θα πέσουν και οι δυο σε λάκο. Γιατί βλέπεις την ακίδα στο μάτι του αδελφού σου και όχι το δοκάρι στο δικό σου το μάτι. Οδήγησέ μας, κύριε. Σε έχουμε ανάγκη, κύριε. Ευλογημένη είναι η μητέρα που σε φύλασε, κύριε. <laughs> Ευλογημένη είναι εκείνη που ακούνε το λόγο του Θεού και υπακούν.
βαπτιστή μα έστειλε να σε ρωτήσουμε. Εσύ ο ερχόμενο, ή να περιμένουμε κάποιον άλλον. Πείτε στον Ιωάννη όσα είδατε και ακούσατε. Βλέπουν οι τυφλοί, περπατούν οι παράλυτοι. Μακάρι όσοι δεν σκανδαλίζονται από μένα. Θέλω τόσο πολύ να δειπνήσω μαζί σας για τελευταία φορά αυτό το Πάσχα. Γιατί σας λέω, δεν πρόκειται να ξαναγίνει αυτό παρά μόνο στη Βασιλεία του Θεού. Ευλογημένος είσαι Κύριε Θε, Βασιλιά του Σύμπαντος που μας δίνει τον καρπό από τα μπέλη. Πάρτε το και μοιραστείτε το. Σας λέω, εγώ δεν πρόκειται να ξαναπιώ από αυτό μέχρι να έρθει η Βασιλεία του Θεού. Ευλογημένος είσαι Κύριε Θε, βασιλιά του σύμπαντος, που μας δίνει τον άρτο από τη γη. Αυτό είναι το σώμα μου που θυσιάζεται για σας. Αυτό να κάνετε για να με θυμάστε. Αυτό το ποτήρι είναι η Καινή Διαθήκη σφραγισμένη με το αίμα μου, που χύνεται για χάρη σας. Ο μεγαλύτερος μεταξύ σας να γίνει σαν το μικρότερο. Και ο αφέντης σαν τον υπηρέτη. Γιατί ποιος είναι ανώτερος, αυτός που κάθεται να φάει, ή αυτός που τον υπηρετεί. Αυτός που κάθεται να φάει φυσικά. Εγώ όμως είμαι ανάμεσά σας για να σας υπηρετήσω. Ήσασταν κοντά μου σε όλες τις δοκιμασίες. Και όπως ο πατέρας μου μου έδωσε τη βασιλεία, έτσι κι εγώ τη δίνω σε σας για να τρώτε και να πίνετε στο τραπέζι της βασιλείας μου και να καθίσετε σε θρόνους για να κρίνετε τις δώδεκα φυλές του Ισραήλ. Μα αυτό είναι θαυμάσιο. Σίμων, Σίμων, άκουσέ με. Ο σατανάς θέλησε να σας κοσκινήσει, όπως ακριβώς γίνεται και με το σιτάρι, για να ξεχωρίσει από το άχυρο. Αλλά εγώ προσευχήθηκα για να μην σε εγκαταλείψει η πίστη σου. Και όταν επιστρέψει σε μένα, στήριξε τα αδέλφια σου. Κύριε, μαζί σου είμαι έτοιμο και φυλακή να πάω. Και να πεθάνω. Πέτρο, άκουσέ με. Πριν ακόμα λελύσει σήμερα ο πετεινός, τρεις φορές θα με απαρνηθείς. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Ye are the salt of the earth, 
But if the salt has lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself is this little child. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For assuredly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder and whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. But I say to you, that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, You fool, 
shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there, remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there, before the altar, and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Agree with your adversary quickly, while you are on the way with him, lest your adversary deliver you to the judge. The judge hand you over to the officer, and you be thrown into prison. Assuredly, I say to you, you will by no means get out of there till you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Furthermore, it has been said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you, that whoever divorces his wife for any reason except sexual immorality causes her to commit adultery and whoever marries a woman who is divorced commits adultery again you have heard that it was said to those of old you shall not swear falsely but shall perform your oaths to the Lord but I say to you do not swear at all neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, nor shall you swear by your head, because you cannot make one hair white or black. But let your yes be yes, and your no, no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him who asks you and from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors do so? Therefore, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect.
Jesus says to you I will be with you I have been with you I will not leave you alone I will draw you out of the pit out of the miry clay and set your feet upon a rock you have been in the current of today's dangerous rapid waters give yourself to God's care become God dependent in this story of Moses we have a foreshadowing of what we gain in the waters of baptism the waters that are meant for death turn out to be instead cleansing healing waters yes our enemy prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour yes like the Egyptian king our enemy wants to drown you he wants you to be covered by the dangerous waters of life yet through this danger through these very same waters Jesus meets you he reaches out to rescue you he draws you out of death into new life allow these waters to wash you
take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father, who is in the secret place. And your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. In this manner, therefore, Pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they?
which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? O oh, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Judge not, that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye. Hypocrite! First remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Oh, what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit. But a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. 
Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock, and the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand, and the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. And so it was, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes.